How can a man confined behind bars manage to steal millions from the world's wealthiest? It sounds like a plot straight out of a Hollywood thriller, doesn't it? But truth, as they say, can often be stranger than fiction. Today, we delve into the bizarre, yet true story of a man who turned the tables on the billionaires right from the confines of a prison cell. In the early days of 2023, the world was captivated by a news story that seemed too audacious to be true. An inmate from the confines of his prison cell had managed to pull off a scam that would make even the most seasoned con artist blush. He had stolen millions, not from fellow criminals or unsuspecting victims, but from some of the world's wealthiest billionaires. Arthur Cofield managed to amass a staggering amount of wealth from inside prison, likely surpassing any other inmate in American history. His approach was remarkably modern, utilizing smuggled cell phones and a network of outside contacts, he gained access to the bank accounts of affluent individuals. Using their funds, he made substantial purchases, often investing in gold, which would then be shipped to Atlanta and collected by his partners in crime. Some of this gold was converted to cash, enabling Cofield and his associates to acquire cars, houses, and luxury items, all of which they unabashedly flaunted on social media platforms. At one instance, Cofield boasted on Instagram about making millions from bed. By the time Cofield was apprehended on charges including identity theft and money laundering, it's estimated he had embezzled a minimum of $15 million. Brenda Smith, a law professor at American University specializing in prison crime, noted that Cofield's actions were unprecedented in their scope within an institutional setting, labeling him as a significant figure in innovation within this context. His targets? None other than the cream of the world's financial elite. Billionaires who had built their fortunes on the backs of multinational corporations and savvy investments. But for all their financial acumen, they proved no match for the cunning and audacity of our prison-bound protagonist. One by one, they fell victim to his scheme. Millions of dollars were siphoned off, disappearing into the ether, only to reappear in the pockets of our audacious inmate. All this while he remained behind bars, a captive, yet paradoxically, the orchestrator of one of the most audacious thefts in recent memory. But as with all stories of crime and audacity, this one too came with a twist. The law, ever vigilant, began to close in. The net tightened, and eventually the audacious plot was uncovered. Our protagonist, already a prisoner, now faced the prospect of even more time behind bars. In the end, he may not have been able to enjoy his ill-gotten gains, but his story serves as a stark reminder of the audacity of crime. It shows that no matter how secure we may think we are, there is always someone, somewhere, willing to exploit any vulnerability for their gain.